Hi there, Austining. It is Thursday evening uh, after eight o'clock. I think this is as late as I have ever come to you for a live update. Um, and today, uh, I just wanted to uh, just make sure everybody's on the same page with what's been happening with updates from the governor and um, how that's looking for us here in our community. As of last night at 8 p.m., all essential workers and businesses uh, were required to have um, masks or cloth face coverings in um, all of the businesses. Um, that uh, regulation is extended to all of us, everyone in the community um, on Friday of this week, so tomorrow. Uh, anytime any of us are going to be within six feet of someone else, uh, you need to be wearing a mask or face covering. And, um, that the more interesting part of that story is uh, where do we go from here? And that's what um, people at every level of government have been talking about. And it's really up to the governors, to the state government to decide when will we reopen? When will we restart our economy? And what's that going to look like? Um, New York is now part of a group of regional states that includes um, not just New Jersey and Connecticut, but also Pennsylvania, Delaware, Rhode Island, and Massachusetts um, to create, a, they are creating a multi-state council. Um, all of the governors and representatives or, you know, select representatives will be um, working together um, so that we can come out of this in a way that um, supports uh, all of our um, state economies. Um, and when you hear the governor talk about it, or um, or even the president, we talk about um, 18 months is when uh, is a likely time when we will have a vaccine. We really don't know when the vaccine will will come out, but there's a lot of testing that has to be done by the FDA. And until that time, um, there are there are some phases um, that we're likely to see, and we we'll, and we don't know when those are going to start. Uh, essentially, what they've said is at this point, schools and everything is still um, closed as as we are today um, through at least May 15th, and then we'll see. Where the numbers are and um, try to reevaluate. Uh, there's still a lot of uh, testing capacity that needs to uh, be brought up to a point where we can do enough testing in all of our communities and throughout the state and the region to find out how widespread the virus has been um, and see where we are then. Um, and at that point, there may be opportunities for a, um, a version of, uh, of normalcy, but it would still be um, um, very different from where our lives were a couple of months ago. Uh, just to keep you up to date on the numbers, the number of positive cases that are officially um, have officially been tested in Austin in the village are 547 as of this afternoon. Um, a couple of other things uh, to keep in mind. Uh, there are obviously some products that have been difficult to get um, and uh, sometimes uh, businesses or business owners will respond with price gouging. That is illegal. So if you suspect there is price gouging going on, um, you can reach out to 1-800-697-1220. And that's uh, the New York Department of State, dos.newyork.gov slash consumer protection. Um, and that information is available for you in the uh, in the weekly web blast, which arrived today. If, um, if you didn't receive it, uh, if you don't regularly receive it, you can go to villageofostening.org and um, write at front and center. You will find uh, the, web, the web blast for today. And I strongly encourage you to sign up for it. There's a lot of valuable information. Usually back in the, the olden days of social um, interaction, there was uh, usually a lot of information about fun activities that we could do together. Now it's focused primarily on resources and updates um, related to um, uh, the COVID-19. Um, one of the other things that we've been hearing about, it, it is mentioned also in the web blast, but you've probably heard about it elsewhere, is that there's a shortage of blood. So if you are someone who um, has given blood in the past, perhaps, or believes that you are healthy and able to give blood, there is a great need for it now. Um, obviously, this is a, an occasion where um, any blood donation uh, would need to be um, established uh, in advance by appointment. So there's information about that. Um, it's in the web blast, but you can also find it in lots of places. New York State um, is in very very much in need of blood donation. So if you're someone able to donate blood, they um, they would really uh, like you to step up. And I do, we'll end on a couple of um, uplifting notes. Um, it's sort of a fun thing that the Recreation and Parks Department is doing is um, boredom busters every day of the week. There's a different activity. Um, and uh, I think it was Wednesday when they had the, uh, the virtual um, 
hike through Crawbucky Nature Preserve by uh, um, the rewilding school. It was it was fun. Uh, it was a, a gentleman who knows an awful lot about um, hiking in the woods uh, was there walking through Crawbucky and answering questions. And it was it was a fun activity. I think I'll probably plan to tune in again next week. Hi, Beata. Good to see you. Um, and uh, the last thing I'll mention is uh, I just got off the phone with a name that's familiar to anyone who's active on Facebook, Aaron Spring. Um, Aaron is a member of the Board of Education, um, which is reason enough to, to you know, acknowledge his great work for the community. But really what I was calling him for um, was I was asking if he would be able to join us at our village board meeting next Wednesday, April 22nd, which will be Earth Day. We are going to be honoring him with a virtual proclamation, thanking him for his tremendous work uh, going out every Sunday and picking up trash throughout our community. He has been a terrific inspiration to so many others and, and has just demonstrated the incredible impact that one person can have uh, with uh, a little bit of dedication and a lot of love for our community. Uh, it seems like a great way to celebrate Earth Day, and I know that he has continued his efforts throughout um, the the isolate this time of isolation, and our community um, is just continuing to get um, in better and better condition um, thanks to his hard work and and all the people that he has inspired to um, take up um, a pair of gloves and a trash bag. And uh, so we look forward to inviting him to next week's village board meeting um so with that i'm going to uh, i'm going to sign off it's thursday night it's been a kind of a weird week for me i know um it um every day is is a, a different adventure generally in life but um right now uh, as the days sort of blend together and we've become somewhat accustomed to this new normal um i wasn't having um one of the most lifting day. So it was nice to, to finish off my evening with a conversation with Aaron Spring, which happened right after um, I watched a, uh, an on live, uh, a, a live musical performance by a friend of mine on Facebook, Christina Picciano. So that, that cheered me up a little bit. Uh, if you watched our village board meeting this week, um, we were very sad to not have um, our deputy mayor, Rika Levin, with us. She was in mourning. Unfortunately, her father passed this week um, from the coronavirus. And it is just um, the latest that our uh, community, um, at least uh, for those of us close to Rika, um, are, are being faced with the um, the tremendous uh, tragedy that uh, this uh, virus uh, causes in the lives of so, so many and, and, and for our, our community and for our nation and our world right now. Um, so bringing it back to uh, something positive and local. Uh, Aaron, I see you have tuned in. It's good to see you. Uh, we are really looking forward to having you at our village board meeting next week where we can celebrate um, great work that you have done in our community. Um, and so with that, I will say, have a great evening. Make sure if you go out tomorrow, starting, I believe it's at 8 p.m. tomorrow, you will be legally required to have a, um, a face covering, a mask, if you're going to be within six feet of somebody. So unless you're going out in the woods and you're able to really keep social distancing, have um, your mask or your cloth face covering. Thanks so much. Take care, all.